right, let's do some new festive anecdotes. Ah oh man, I am so ready to react to Mrs. of Cloud and Bok. Here we go. Venti might be here already! Let's take a look inside! Alright then, what's Venti doing? Halt! Citizens, what noble errand brings you? Is Kaya here? We need him for something! Captain Kaya? He's on duty in Jean's office. Oh, really? Interesting. Because last time, Kaya wanted to be Venti's student to learn how to write love poems. Huh? Why is he in Dean's office? The Windbloom Festival celebrations have always been hosted by the Knights of Favonius. During the festivities, Master Jean personally goes out on patrol. No. Oh, okay. So it seems like he doesn't want to participate in the Invitation of Windbloom Festival. Aww. Captain Kaya takes over her administrative duties during that period. I see now why Kaya's over here. Huh. Is that right? Is that right? Accept the job from Kaya. Alright, let's go inside then. Alright. Kaya must be in Jean's office. Kaya, hello! Kaya! Kaya? Hey, is that what I said? Traveler Paimon, you're here! Venti! Hello! I was just thinking about you two. And now, here you are. How fortuitous. Fortuitous? Are we holding a fort down here? Or... <laughs> Did you do your homework? Oh yeah, he was, he was learning how to write bill phones. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid I must disappoint you. I haven't even started writing it yet. What? I thought you were a hard worker. No, actually, Kai is more of a romantic. Hmm, students that don't hand in their homework on time aren't exactly model students now, are <laughs> they? Oh, I did it, Rick, yeah. yeah. Kai is just getting insulated. No, we gotta protect Kaya here, somehow. Look, okay? Actually, at least he accepted your request. Okay? Remember the, the demand? You know? You got handed the homework and something like that. That was Kaya's demand, so... I don't know what's happening here, actually. And what excuse does Kaya have for not handing in his homework? It's a demand, right? To, for, for Venti to constructively criticize the, his homework. So... Well, as you can see, I'm helping Master Jean take care of various matters. Oh. There we go. My client. Mondstadt is a hive of activity over the festive period. Accordingly, there's a multitude of things that need sorting. Oh. <sighs> I've been at it for a good while now. Oh, no. Okay. Looks like he's been kind of tired of it. You get at it? Okay. It seems like you're not struggling, but you may be tired. Traveler? Can I ask for a favor? Sure. I have a drinking buddy that wants me to help him with something, but I'm much too busy. Can I entrust this matter to you? A drinking buddy? You drink too much? Oh no. Both the not alcoholism. Alcoholism is not. not, not it's a not off talking point. I am not to break the boundaries here. A drinking buddy? A friend you met at the tavern? Uh, seems like. That's right. I often go to the tavern when not on duty. Somehow, I seem to have made quite a few acquaintances that way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you do when you're, he's not on his job, right? <laughs> his name is Nimrod. He's never far from the tavern. Nimrod. He should be free right now. I think I've heard that name before. I'm not sure. I'm not to check. <laughs> Thanks for the help. I'd better stay behind and get started on my homework. Alright, learn how to... Right, love poems, right, right, go, go ahead. Right, uh, good luck, Kaya, yeah. I'll uh, consider a part of my wind blue experience. <laughs> I got a few things to say, actually one thing in particular. I decided I'm not going to record videos from my SD card. I figured if I recorded it from this computer and then everything went wrong if my camera froze, I'll just VTube it. Yes. Previous episode, I had a VTuber segment. I was basically using my, you know, you know my profile picture was like a sun? That's my camera. Oh my gosh. I was like, that would that had made for a good v VTuber thing, VTuber segment. That was really, I think that really made for some good moments right there. So yeah, I just want to make more of this VTuber moments and record from the computer. 
computer. My camera can unexpectedly freeze at some point, so I can make a VTuber uh, segment. VTuber moments. But anyways, enough digress. Go look for Nimrod Tavern. Here we go. What's that tavern? Okay, where are you, Nimrod? You're drunk somewhere. Um, we're looking around. Uh, I think he's outside the tavern. Oh, no. Oh. Hey, no, I don't need to talk to you. I'm gonna cut this part. This game just needs to have some kind of better interacting system here. This is just horrible. Be a little more accurate. When I'm looking at the door, I'm picking the door. All right. <laughs> ah. All right, never mind. Oh, there he is. Could have maybe picked him out. And tables and maybe, maybe seen a waypoint, but looks like I just had to find someone who's having a bad day. All right. Uh, what should I do? Yeah, I know, right? I'm bad day. Drunk. All that stuff. You must be Dimrod. Kaya mentioned there was something you wanted him to take care of. Oh, he's, He's busy right what? now. But well, we can help. What about? Uh, huh? Oh, Traveler. I didn't realize it was you. Oh. Uh, it's like this. I'm planning to give a gift to my wife for the Windbloom Festival, and I wanted my drinking buddy Kaya to come up with a gift idea. Gift idea? Oh, yeah, yeah. It should seem, yeah. Kaya knows how to make gifts. Oh, and Kaya also comes up with gift ideas. That right? Hey, is Kaya an idealist? Uh, I... I'm afraid I'm a bit of a drunkard. I'm nearly always in the tavern. My wife hates me drinking, so we're constantly arguing. Oh man, this is some... This is getting a little dark. Getting a little more on the... Don't say. No. Wait. It should, it should kind of make sense right now. Another day, another drunkard. Oh. Drunk. Oh, yeah, okay. I can empathize. <laughs> I don't mind a drink or two myself. Then again, and I'm not one to judge, but by the looks of your drinking habits... Oh, now they're, now they're, they're talking about our drinking habits and alcohol. This is sincerely a doll game. I know. She's right, of course. I feel like I have to make it up to her. Yeah, good thinking. Uh, traveler, can you help me gather some materials? I want to make a gift for her myself. Materials? Okay, what materials? I should have made preparations in advance, but I've barely been sober these last few days. I fell asleep, and when I woke up, the celebrations had already begun. Now I'll never have time to finish it by myself. Oh no. Oh man. When the invitation wind bloom began, this guy. This guy. Oh, yeah. That's sad. Yeesh. This guy is a mess. Yes. Right on. Mm. Uh, single folks in Mondstadt would never dare get others to help them during the festive period. It's lucky you're already married, Nimrod. Oh, oh I see. Uh huh. You're telling me. Uh, I'm. Uh, sorry, here I am making a fool of myself in front of all of you. Oh no! <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's okay, Nimrod, no. We're here to help. Ah, uh, what's done is done. Spit it out then, how can we help? I'm going to look for wood in the city. And we'll need plants to place inside. Those only grow in the wild. Could I ask you to retrieve them? I need two stems of small lampgrass. Got it. Here we go. <laughs> Small lamp grass and wood? What are you making exactly? What are you making, Nimrod? I bet it's gift. Has to be. I want to make her a little wooden house with glowing flowers and a handmade furniture inside. Oh, I like the house too. <laughs> Aw, such a thoughtful gift. Very thoughtful. I agree, Fenty. <laughs> A token of my love. <laughs> Back when I'd only just gotten to know her, I used to make handmade gifts for her all the time. <sighs> she loved them. She even used to say that it was... Uh... uh, oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's put the past aside for the moment. Thank you all for your help. 
Oh, I'm here to solve all of your troubles. Here we go. Lucky you came across such kind-hearted assistance. Let's go! Small lamp grass! Oh, we're all three done! We out here! Here you go, Stanley! You got the small lamp grass! <laughs> thank you! Thank you so much! With these materials, I can get to work straight away! Remember, a gift can't solve everything! You need to start being fair to your wife, too! <laughs> I have to agree with that. I will! I will! Just always, always be good! So, it's your wife. Uh, I do hope she likes my gift, though. Oh, don't no worries about that. We'll make your gift good. Is this story gonna turn to that point? Everyone likes a gift given with love. Don't worry. You're a problem. <laughs> make it a good one. Don't go wasting those materials. They weren't easy to find, you know. There you go. <laughs> Not so easy. <laughs> yeah, grab in my hand. We go to Wolden Dome or go to Whispering Woods to find a small lap grass. Wolden Dome or Whispering Woods. Remember that. Remember it. Because I'm your specialty guy. <laughs> hey, get back, Kaya. We're back! Kaya, have you finished? Time to hand in your homework! Here you go. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. I'm just finishing up. Okay. Go, go, go! Hand it in, hand it in! Homework, give me your homework. Come on, give me it. Let's see what grade you'll get for this. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Now then, no hurting my feelings. Oh no! Oh, oh. I, I respect your feelings, my friend. Great, I knew this was gonna happen. What grade did you get? Huh? Oh, Venti. Kaya, may I read this out loud? Feel free. <clears throat> Me, Maria, means I love you in the language of the Hilly Charles. What? This is the Hilly man. It's just like Ella Musk. What? Kaya! <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude, man, are you kidding me? You, you, giving us a hella trailer language grade, giving Kaya a hella trailer language grade. I mean, wow, he's a genius. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Coherent and to the point. Plus, the length seems about right. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Are you writing a hilly churly in phrase book? <laughs> Damn, Nicholas. Where's the romance? <laughs> a love poem has to convey the style of its author, you know? Yeah. I'm not sure you took the exercise seriously. <laughs> Gloss over the fact that Kaya can speak Hilly Trillion? <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Don't underestimate the hidden knowledge of the Knights of Favonius Cavalry Captain. Oh, uh, nope. Not gonna do. He definitely knows how to speak. <laughs> Alright then, time to collect the next student's homework. Okay. Huh? I see. Uh, what? <laughs> I just caught sight of a suspicious figure. I must go and investigate. Oh. Traveler, I have another small task for you. Okay. The church has applied to us for a hunting license. Please take these official documents to the cathedral. Cathedral, all right. <sighs> Running errands again. I know, all right? Your assistance. You have to do this. Just like we did at the beginning of the game.
Lisa, we need to establish some ground rules. <sighs> if we do end up apprehending any drunken troublemakers, no electrocutions, okay? Oh, no. Oh, Jean, you misunderstand me. That intoxicated fellow you witnessed last time was practically begging me to be shocked. It makes me wonder if some people don't actually quite enjoy getting... What? Electrified? Lisa? <sighs> Very well, then. If you insist. Dean! Lisa! Greetings, ladies. <laughs> it's been a while. What are you two doing here? A while indeed. As you can see, Lisa and I are on duty. Aw, it's Cutie and friends. Uh, did you see any suspicious people on the way here? If you do see anything, report straight to the Knights. Ah, oh, like an Amber. I don't think anybody has ever been suspicious. Well, I'm not saying Amber's suspicious. I always see Amber all the time. When she's doing patrolling, you know, and all the way stuff. Here. Yeah. Actually, long story short, no, no suspicious people seen. Since when do librarians go out on patrol? Oh, well, that's kind of unusual. <laughs> Rarely, but this is the Windbloom Festival, and they need all hands on deck, even the humble clerical staff like me. Lisa, humble clerical staff do not wield Electro the way you do. Huh. Oh, oh, now, oh my goodness, are we getting kind of like, just because she's a clerical, humble clerical staff, we do not expect them to wield such a vision, so do we? Huh, interesting. <sighs> Please do not be alarmed. I will keep my eyes on Lisa, especially since she seems to enjoy electrocuting people just to break up a scuffle, not to mention shocking drunkards until they beg for mercy. <laughs> What? Oh my goodness, this is just... Oh. oh. If you don't like it, I can happily refrain. Is that a promise? Good. Otherwise, yeah. I'm going to have to reconsider whether I want a librarian on patrol with me. Hyra never knew being on patrol could be so exciting! Yes, it is quite exciting. Say. <laughs> yeah, my dialogue volume was at 5. And now it's a long story why he turned it down to 5. Should I say it? <laughs> it's because of, of coaching. Okay, here we go. Barbara! Kaya sent us to deliver the... Oh, what? How dare they! <laughs> this is sheer intimidation! Whoa, Ben, it's here too? <laughs> oh. How could somebody do this? Oh no. Huh? Huh? What's happened? Whoa, what's happened? I... I... I received a letter! Okay. Oh, it says... It says... Let me... I just came okay. back from the Very wilderness. Nice. As usual, I came by the cathedral to ask the sisters to patch me up. That's when I saw Barbara running out, white as a sheet. She was holding a letter. What's that? What did it say? I've never received a letter like this before! Oh no. Can I take a look? Ah, hmm. Seems to be a trillion. <laughs> or the secret code. Could be from the Fatui or the Abyss. I don't know what this is. You're a Barbara. <laughs> You're doing that. Try to invent your voice impression here, okay? Come on. <laughs> You're a Barbara. I've stolen the thing most precious to you and buried it. Okay, Fenty, you took a look. Hmm. Dear Barbara, I've stolen the thing most precious to you and buried it. Huh. Could this be an attempt at intimidation? Attempt at intimidation? I wonder who could this could this be? It's awful. Is it a joke? If so, we don't need to worry. But it's a joke. Oh, well, we need to get a solution to this problem real quick. There's a map on the back! Isn't that out in the wilderness? Oh, this? Oh, I know where that is. That's by the uh, Don Winery. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. Hmm. The thing most precious to you. What could it be? Hmm. Berry. Okay, Fancy. Crack the riddle. Huh. 
That location on the map is familiar. I've definitely been there before. Oh, okay. Bennett's been there before. Okay. Let's Fenty talk to her, Bennett. Bennett's not talking. All right. So, of course, Bennett's adventurer. Totally makes sense that he said it. So, what is the thing most precious to you? I can't think straight right now. Nothing makes sense. Oh. oh. That nun just appear over there? Weird. It's coming to me. It's mm -hmm. coming to me. Bennett, what is it? It's okay. <laughs> to me wait could it be oh no oh no Barbara hey slow down no. aha I got it the thousand winds temple no, that's where it was that was wrong ah. <laughs> Bennett hey hey venture why are they in such a hurry let's catch up with them all right, here we go. The next episode. Next week, just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's catch up to, to Barbara then. My sister! Oh, sister. Oh, no. Tapping. Slow down. Oh, it's Rosaria. Oh, the last time we seen her was at the... Oh, I remember. She was at the Dragon Spine entrance. Ah. Oh, I remember her. <laughs> Lisa was with her. She's fine. Oh. Really? Are, are you sure? <sighs> that letter. Give it to me. Sure. If they're not talking about Jean in the letter, then what are they talking about? Oh, I thought they were talking about you, Papa. So what are they talking about? Did you really think they buried Jane underground? What a horrible thought! Oh no, dude, this came so dark. How dare you! <laughs> oh, no offense. So, sister, have you found any leads? Looking at the map, the perpetrator seems to have marked out an area around Dawn Winery. Yeah, this happened the last time we had the story arc and quest of the Venti, the beginning of the game, and we had like uh, some dialogue moments. Yeah. I think we're seeing some real political crimes. Uh, not that, but it's like more like politics and, of course, a little, little bit of crime on the side here. So, we have a perpetrator. Okay, easy. That's open land, so hiding something there. Hmm. What could it be? Oh, could it be? Nice work! How'd you figure that out so quickly? <laughs> Wait, are you talking to me? You talking to me? Although, Don Winery? That's not the place we were thinking. No, I'm not gonna say it is. I thought it was the Thousand Winds Temple, so um, it is the location. Hmm. Barbara, rather than letting your imagination get the better of you, stand up and face this head on. You're right. It's just... <laughs> it's a little scary, right? That's why we're going with you. What do you say? Uh, hmm. Huh? Oh, that, that's very kind. We'll help you, Papa. That's what we're doing. And you, sister? Will you be accompanying us? She, she should have been part of the banner. I don't get it. Can you unlock her yet? No signs of her available. I mean, she's not even the character archives. I don't get it. It's with this one, one point of four. Oh, <laughs> Straight away, there was nothing to worry about. Okay. Oh no. I guess this really is a fluke. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this is kind of a disappointment. And it makes sense because she's also not a character we can unlock, so I was really expecting her to be available. Oh. Huh? What does that mean? Nothing. Get going then. Yep, they're going. Barbara, are you feeling a bit better now? Mm-hmm. I... I'm okay. Oh, right. 
Let's head out to solve this case. Asaria's right. Better to know the ways of the enemy than stand here scaring myself. Well, of course we have to know the enemy. But we can't hear. Can't just stand here. Just be scared. That's right. Let's keep moving. Yes, let's go. Thank you. All of you. Let's get to the location and see what we find. All right. Yep, yep. Go, Barbara, go. Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah, I don't really delve too much into leaks. I don't. This is how I feel about leaks. I'm not going into them. I just want to enjoy the game and all the stuff. One side quest at a time. One quest be general at a time. And this, I'm doing the main festive anecdote quest. Now to do that, I will do the world quest. World quest and then the world quest. That's the point. Okay. Well, location marker, here we go. Oh, of course that's to be treasure holders. Oh, gosh. Of course. Of freaking course. Once again, you didn't try to take me out when I was helping out Kaishin and the red Treasure holders are really a monstrosity. Oh. Here we go. Interesting. Such an exquisite gift box. What's it doing out here in the wilderness? With an artifact. Oh. Oh. Wow. What a beautiful wind wheel aster wreath. And so many paper stars. Wow, there's some great artifacts here. I'm going to put this on my, on my main character. Yeah. Is this a prank? Is this just someone's way of getting your attention? Hmm. A prank? Looks like our perpetrator is really just one of Barbara's fans. Really? Oh my goodness. Oh. There's a note! What does it say? Hmm, let's see. So sorry to get your attention this way. Please accept this wind bloom as a sign of my sincere admiration for your virtue and sweetness. Oh, so it's not threatening at all. How very sweet. <laughs> ha! So it's fraudulent intimidation then? Fake! Oh, that's a. No. Be it for the gods or that special someone, flowers should be offered in utmost sincerity. It's the most important ceremony of the Windbloom Festival. I have to, yeah. Open sincerity. How should be offered? Open sincerity. Here you go. Flowers of love and blessings sent on such a special occasion. No effort should be spared to make it spectacular. Oh, so the offer has to be spectacular. <laughs> I see. Behind the questionable methodology, here we have a meticulously thought out and heartfelt gift. So. <laughs> Laying it on a little thick, aren't we? Still seems like someone with a few screws loose to pie mine. Oh no, oh no. A few screws loose. What? No. Wait. <laughs> Maybe you're right. I think I have a suspect in mind who fits that description. Okay, who are we talking about then? Who? Who? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I think I know the answer. <laughs> Shh, no telling now. <laughs> I'd like Paimon to make a few guesses. Ah, you're so annoying! Ah, get flushed out! Oh. Right, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. That was, uh, this is Cloud Fog, the first festive act dog quest for Act 2. I never imagine I'd be making more. Go to the event overview and see that you have completed. First festive anecdote for Act 2. Next episode, <laughs> I'm going to do Flavor of the Month. Now, if it's short, then I'll also do Wind Brew as well. If the second side quest is short, so I can make a 10 minute video. But yeah, I actually, uh, usually my videos always go over 20, 20 minutes. Uh, but what I'm saying is, it really depends. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, easy to understand that there. <laughs> 
Hey, I think it's watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Yay! Yeah. 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 Yeah.